So, folks, it's finished. Ferenc 1, Wolves 1 in the final pre-season game of the 22-23 season. As always, going to be giving my thoughts on the game today. If you did manage to catch it, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. And as always, hit the like button. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. A highly rotated team, which is what we expected, really. We've seen it uh, in the games against Levante and against Villarreal B. Uh, Bruno Large giving an opportunity to the players that didn't really get a huge amount of minutes uh, on the previous game. We saw yesterday against Sporting a really strong Wolves 11. Probably the team that I would expect to start at Elland Road against Leeds next week. Um, so today we saw predominantly the younger lads, the second string team. We also saw a back four of uh, Totti Gomez, Bolly, Cody and Mosquera. Uh, but other than that, it was pretty much 23 players, fringe players. Big concern for me though, if that's the strength of our second 11, it is worrying. Um, no disrespect to the guys that played out there today, but from the midfield forwards, Wolves desperately need reinforcements. Of course, we saw Huangi Chan play as well today. He got a, a good amount of minutes under under his belt for the first time this preseason. Uh, but Wolves, like I said, played a pretty much rotated team. I think if you paid to watch that on Wolves TV, I do feel sorry for you. Um, but it was just it was just one of those games, and I suppose it was a good opportunity if you haven't been able to watch much of the twenty threes or watch you know some of the fringe fringe players play over the last twelve months. It was a good opportunity to see that, but pretty much by the full time whistle, it was a team I would expect to see uh, in the Premier League two next next season. Um, but Ferenc actually got took the lead in the game. Um, it was through a free kick. They went through on goal. Co Connor Cody with a pretty bad challenge across the player, right on the edge of the area, uh, which uh, gave him a booking just three or four minutes into the game. And the free kick was really decent. So difficult for a goalkeeper to stop them, to be honest. It was such a decent height. Still had so much pace on the ball. It wasn't right in the corner, uh, but with the amount of power and, and pace on the ball, it was going to be difficult for the goalkeeper, Jackson Smith, to stop it. And um, obviously, Ferenc got that early lead. I think one of the positives really from Wolves is that, uh, you know, the last two games especially, uh, we're giving away, in my opinion, very little chances for open play. But we are conceding these goals from your free kicks, from your penalties. Um, and that's just the one thing that we've we've got to address a little bit more. The other concern is actually going forward. And I didn't really mention it much against Sporting. I thought we actually played pretty well against Sporting overall. But there were a lot of comments on yesterday's video in regards to the actual chance creation. Um, I thought personally that we were still getting plays into the area. We're still getting a lot of plays into the box. But actually creating these chances and testing the goalkeeper is still pr pretty low. Um, we didn't do it enough today as well. You know, it wasn't our strongest attackers on the pitch. I think we had opportunities to do so. The main one in the first half was there. We, you know, we capitalised on an error from their goalkeeper. And Huang Hee Chan just put it on a plate for Chem Campbell. Open goal and he put it wide. We've got to be putting those at least on target. We've got to be testing these teams a little bit more. And in the end, we got our equaliser. It was in the second half. It was a really positive run from Chem Campbell down the right hand side. He skipped past their defender, and in the end, uh, took it past him and, and got taken down for a penalty. Huang Ki Chan stepped up and uh, very calmly put it away to make it 1 1. But after that, that's when we saw the changes. We saw the players come on. So, we're a big opportunity for some of the lads. Some of the under 23s lads who were actually out in America last week. So we saw Ollie Tipton, Harry Birtwistle, um, a number of those come onto the pitch and, and get an opportunity to play in the end. But um, it's not, you know, at least it's it's not a defeat. It's a chance of Bruno Large to see some of these players get their match sharpness up at what I would class as a much more competitive level. Uh, but I don't think many of them would have impressed enough to be knocking on the door to be pushing players for a first team place. We saw the Wolves owner there yesterday uh, against Sporting. I think these last two games, although there have been positives from them, they're still it's still obvious that Wolves need to bolster this squad. And I'm not expecting players to come in in the next week. I might be wrong, but Wolves really need to be looking at some options and bringing in two or three players. I think when the later the window gets, we've still got another month or so, I think, um, the later the window gets, Players will become a little bit more available. Players that aren't 100% sure about their futures at their clubs and Wolves can capitalise on that. Um, but like I said, first 11, I'm happy with. I think we've played positive football, but the backup and the depth that we've got, I think today showed it really. Um, any of our sort of more talented attacking players, I think you add any of Pedence, Neto, or Morgan on today, it was probably a game we should have um, should have won really. Um, but a decent run out nonetheless. You won't, you know, opposition fans... 
uh, or fan, or even Wolves fans that won't look at the lineup. So we'll be like flipping it. We're going to have a long season if we draw into Ferenc. Look at the lineup. Take that into account first before you comment. Um, and, and it's been a productive preseason for Wolves. Could have gone better, but could have gone a lot worse, I suppose. Uh, especially in consideration to last season where we got a lot of injuries, stupid injuries for the amount of games we played. Of course, we've had the Jimenez injury, which is frustrating, but I think it could have been a lot worse in regards to that. But it's finished today. Ferenc won. By the way, their fans were phenomenal to get the atmosphere, kept that going from minute one to, to minute 90. Ferenc won, Wolves won, and uh, looking forward now to the start of the 22-23 season. Lots of content coming up this week ahead of that. Some really special videos over the next couple of weeks as well. So keep your eye out for those. Be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll catch you all very, very soon.